Hi everyone, uh, my name's Warren Mitchell. Um, I'm the founder of uh, Warren Road Productions. In my spare time, I'm also the administrator for a reality television blog called Reality TV Guide. Over the past months on Reality TV Guide, we've been uh, doing the challenge months where we've covered uh, season recaps of uh, previous seasons of uh, the MTV uh, hit reality show, The Challenge. This had been a very interesting month to do the challenge months. We've uh, had to deal with some uh, disturbing news related to the challenge. About two weeks ago, former challenge contestant Dan Brown passed away after a long bout of cancer. Her uh, cancel battle had been uh, documented throughout her entire challenge career, and uh, it... Uh, hit everyone pretty hard. I was planning to do this video for her during the week that uh, she passed away and uh, hadn't had the chance to get around to it. Yet when I woke up this morning, I uh, read some uh, unselling news. A second uh, challenge contestant had uh, passed away uh, two days ago. Brian Knight from the Real Old New Orleans 2010, who uh, went by his last name, Knight, was uh, killed uh, last this past Wednesday after a uh, fight with one of his friends resulted in uh, Knight getting choked to death. With these two uh, famous challenge contestants uh, passing away over the past two weeks in the same months, I wanted to dedicate both their memories in uh, this video because Reality TV Guide has been a big uh, supporter of the challenges, give or take the past uh, couple of seasons. I myself have been uh, watching the show ever since it first premiered back in 1998, back when it was called The Real World Challenge. And uh, since we've been covering the challenge months this past November, I figured there was right to honor both DM and Knight in this uh, personal video. First we're going to talk about DM Brown. She was born Danielle Michelle Brown in, on June 12, 1980. She was born in Reichenbach, Germany as a military brat. A few years later her parents uh, relocated back to the, U the United States. At just 25 years old she was uh, one of 12 people picked to participate in uh, the challenge Fresh Meat. Dan was part of a group that got casted to compete in the challenge without making their debut in neither the railroad nor Road Rules. Production on that season began in November 2005 in Australia, and the season premiered in June 2006. On Fresh Meat, they took 12 challenge fans and paired them each up with uh, experienced uh, veterans of Real World and Road Rules. And uh, DM was uh, paired up with uh, Road Rules 13 uh, cast member Derek Kaczynski. On Fresh Meat's second episode, she revealed to Derek that uh, Prior to uh, leaving for the challenge, she was diagnosed with ovarian cancer. I've watched that episode back two weeks ago, and uh, it was really a touching moment in uh, the entire challenge series. It was one of those moments that uh, reality TV was uh, really uh, showcasing a uh, real matter that uh, occurs in life every day. And her performance on that season was one of the bravest that uh, anyone's ever seen. She and Derek had been one of the top performers throughout the season. And ended up winning three uh, challenge games toward the second half of the season. And uh, right before the final challenge, they were sent home after losing uh, the final exile to Darrell and Aviv. Just like uh, Pedro Zamora was in uh, Rear Old San Francisco, D.M. Brown was a very uh, excellent character during that season. 
and a and a positive advocate for uh, ovarian cancer, even on the moment where she uh, struggled to control her emotions and felt down over the situation, her spirit remained unbroken. And uh, it really showed over the entire course of her career. After Fresh Meat wrapped, she uh, underwent chemotherapy. After the operation was successful, she uh, returned to uh, the challenge for the next season titled The Duel. During the first episode of The Duel, we saw a true testament to her unwillingness to give up. In the second challenge, she decided to swallow her pride and remove her uh, wig, reviewing their hair loss from the chemotherapy. Such an is inspiring moment to all the cast and the fans of the challenge was uh, immediately followed by her victory in that same challenge. Throughout the entire season of the duel, she uh, proved to be a very strong competitor. Finishing in the top ranks every uh, time, and overall she uh, won like three or four uh, challenge games before uh, losing to Anissa in the duel and uh, having to go home. After those uh, two back-to-back -back seasons, she went on to do uh, five more challenges. The Gauntlet Free, the Duel 2, the Ruins, Bow the Exes, and Rivals 2. In total, she ended up doing uh, seven challenges, and uh, it's been rumored that she was uh, a participating contestant in, in the upcoming challenge, Bow the Exes 2, which would bring her total up to eight challenges before her passing. My opinion on Diem had uh, wavered uh, from positive to negative over the past uh, couple of years. On some seasons, there were her personality aspects that uh, really distracted me from uh, her inspiring stories. But there was no doubt in my mind that she was one of the biggest, uh, bravest, and toughest competitors to ever appear on the challenge. A lot of uh, people say that DM's biggest moment would be... Uh, from like Fresh Meat or Duel One. Personally, my uh, favorite DM moment throughout her entire season was the eighth episode of Duel Two. During that challenge game, she was hanging upside down over a very high uh, structure, and uh, she had had a fear of heights for a long time. But uh, during that mission, she. Uh, braved it out and uh, really performed uh, in one of the top ranks, coming close to winning that challenge game. And then during that same episode, she uh, was challenged to uh, a duel when the game involved a physical one-on-one uh, -on -one contact, even with the odds against her going against uh, Jen Drujalva. She uh, came out victorious and sent Jen packing. That episode was the best I've seen out of DM. It was uh, the best example of uh, how far she's willing to go in order to compete in the challenges. Another uh, story arc that took place during her entire career was her showmance with uh, Chris Tamborello, who uh, many of us know as CT. The relationship started in uh, The Duel 1, their relationship was one of the biggest features in in this uh, entertaining season. The relationship continued uh, into Gauntlet 3, where they were both on the same team. This was during a time when CT was just one very unlikable uh, contestant on the show. His uh, temper was uncontrollable. His behavior was just out there. He got kicked off the challenge twice for uh, physical violence each time. CT and DM ended their relationship prior to uh, Duel 2. And then we saw uh, CT uh, get kicked off for fighting with Adam on the first uh, episode. And uh, it's been a really messy uh, time. 
after those two. Then in 2012, after uh, CT's challenge career experienced a renaissance, he and Dame were paired up in Bow DX's one. The story arc between uh, CT and DM in that season was really the only redeeming factor for Bow DX's one. They were both fighting off their own feelings. They really struggled to communicate, but it was evident that they still cared for each other a lot. They ended up winning the final two challenge games in that season. Ended up uh, competing in the final challenge where they finished in second place to Johnny and Camilla. And then uh, both of them uh, appeared again in Rivals 2. And that season, their relationship began to, to resume again. Which became one of the biggest highlights of uh, Rivals 2. Now, there were doubts between uh, CT and Dam's relationship at that time, and I had uh, my own reservations about them uh, getting together again, but as I was watching this season, I really felt their relationship. Like, I really knew that they were getting back together for the right reasons. Their relationship made for great television that season. DM's personality, however, was not something good to see. Her nice girl uh, personality was uh, changing, and it really distracted everything uh, good about DM that we've known for all those seasons that she was on. It was uh, easy for me to not like DM that season more than... It was for me to like Dan. And it's uh, really tough to think about that now, considering that it's the final uh, challenge she'll appear on during her lifetime. Including uh, the upcoming Bow the Exes 2 that she uh, appears on with CT, Dan uh, has appeared in uh, eight challenges throughout her entire life. And even though she uh, never won a final challenge, it's... It's extremely more tough to know that she was never able to overcome her bout of cancer. Several years after her first chemotherapy uh, went successful, she was uh, diagnosed again for ovarian cancer in 2012. She documented her uh, second chemotherapy experience uh, on internet videos and uh, People magazine uh, updates online. And it really showed her good side during that time. Just a few months ago, she uh, revealed that she uh, was diagnosed with cancer for a third time. Which, uh, now, which now appeared in her colon. She didn't make it this time. She uh, passed away on November 14th in New York City at the age of 34. Even though I never got to see the good side of DM in her, uh, in her last challenge, I speak for everyone when I say that I'll always remember her for being a strong competitor and uh, one of the best fighting spirits that the show had ever uh, seen. Now we're going to talk about uh, Knight's passing, which uh, occurred uh, this Wednesday. Over the past few months, he had uh, been in a healthy relationship, and uh, he was full of good vibes with everyone. Think about it right now, it's just, uh, it's not easy at all. Knight made his debut uh, on season 24 of The Real Old, which was New Orleans 2010. He appeared in uh, two uh, of the past three challenges. Out of Seasons 2012 and uh, Rivals 2. I never watched New Orleans 2010 when Night was on. And uh, about of Seasons 2012, you can go ask another person from Reality TV Guide because I could only get through one episode. I mean, it was that season was that bad. I did have a good knowledge of his rivalry with uh, his New Orleans 2010 castmate, uh, Preston Charles, and uh, his on-again, off-again relationship with another uh, 
castmate from that season, Jimmy Carroll, when I watched uh, Rivals 2. For all the times he really sucked in the challenges and uh, exhibited his uh, bad behavior, I uh, have to admit I uh, laughed a lot during uh, all of his uh, scenes during Rivals 2. I'm positive that they were for all the wrong reasons, but it was like a train wreck. Like, you couldn't uh, back away from it. For his last uh, televised moment on television, on the Rivals 2 reunion, he ended up uh, slapping Frank in the face after a long rant against him, and uh, was uh, carried off the set. Whether it was uh, funny or not, he was uh, just a very uh, fascinating character to watch, to say the least. Both DM and uh, Knight appeared on uh, Rivals 2 back in 2013, and they are both slated to appear in the upcoming challenge, Bow the Axis 2, which is going to feel uh, real awkward if I'm uh, putting myself in MTV's shoes right now. For all the times that I've gone frustrated over the recent seasons of the challenge, I would never want it to get cancelled over uh, two uh, deaths in uh, this kind of matter. Both uh, DM and Knight were good characters on the show, and uh, even better people outside the show. And everyone uh, at Reality TV Guide is uh, giving out their thoughts and prayers to their families at this time, as well as the Challenge family, because two deaths in one month, that's tough. DM was uh, 34 years old, and uh, Knight was uh, 29 years old. And like I said, our hearts and uh, thoughts and prayers goes to uh, their uh, friends, their families, and their cast members at uh, this uh, extremely uh, difficult time. Thanks to everyone that watched this video. If you want to keep up with uh, Reality TV Guide, Check us out on realitytvguide.wordpress.com. We're also on uh, Facebook and Twitter. Check out our recaps. We try to post as much as we can. We've struggled with the posts uh, over the past few weeks, but soon we'll uh, be uh, getting back up in motion. Until then, this is uh, Warren uh, Mitchell for uh, Reality TV Guide. Wishing you all a good day.